Hey guys, it's Brick Picture Productions here with yet another video. And in this video, I'm going to be explaining the 501st Battle Pack that is going to be releasing in summer 2020 of this year. Now, this, this set is going to be including six minifigures and two actual builds. The builds are going to be just a regular smaller ATRT build kind of resembling what we saw in the 2015 clone turbo tank very similar just different color schemes likely a blue color scheme we're also going to be getting a bark speeder and again this is very similar to the one we actually got in the 2014 battle on saluka my battle pack except again this is going to be in a kind of a blue color scheme as well on to the minifigures, we're going to be getting two battle droids and four unnamed clone troopers. Now, what this means is that we're not going to be getting named clone troopers such as Fives or Captain Rex or something like that. It's going to be all just regular plain clone troopers. Now, these clone troopers are going to be presumably 501st clones. We do not know if we're going to be getting just all regular 501st clones like we saw in episode 3, or we're going to be getting a mix of regular 501st clones and 332nd clones. That is still up in the air at this point, but we are at least going to be getting two regular 501st clones. And personally, I would actually be happy with the mix because it would be nice to be able to pick up both types of clones in one battle pack. Now on to the price, we're going to be having to fork over 30 US dollars to acquire this Lego set in August 2020. That is a very, very high price to me initially. I have not seen the set and I do not know what it looks like. So I'm gonna reserve my thoughts to kind of basic initial thoughts here, but the price kind of seems high to me. It only, it does seem like this is not gonna be very much different from a regular battle pack. It's just gonna have one more battle pack type build, like just an extra build basically. We're getting an ATRG and a bark speeder in one. And it also includes two battle droids as well, which is also different. But just, just those two things, I don't think that kind of makes it worth $30. I'm really kind of upset that this is going to be $30. It's going to be hard to pick up large quantities of this. But again, we haven't seen it. I want to see it before I give my full thoughts. So what do you guys think of this? Are you excited that we're actually getting a 500 first battle pack? Or are you kind of bummed out about the price like me? And let me know in the comments and peace out.